Welcome to Tech IQ. In this video you will learn about how to triple POE configuration in Nokia router. First of all you can search your SSID. For connect your Nokia router to the PC or mobile you can find backside of router your username and password. With the help of your username and password, we can enter here our password, SSID password, which is mentioned in router backside. Now your Wi-Fi router has been connected successfully. Now we have to open our network sharing center and check our default gateway. By using the default gateway, you can access your Wi-Fi router. Enter your default router IP. It's 192.168.1.254. Here we have to enter our router IP address. Now home page is open. So you have to enter your username and password. This is the default username and password for Wi-Fi router. In your username, you can write admin a capital admin and gpon. Gpon is in capital like this and uh, also you have to enter a password this is your username and in password alc is in capital has fgu is in capital right so this is a default username and password go to network and click on when Right, here you select a triple POE or IP, whatever is there. So untick VOIP and TR069 services. Here you enter your VLAN. Currently my VLAN is 851. Here you can enter your username and password which is provided by ISP. Here you can enter DNS currently I am using 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and save it now we have to check our 888 ping so I am getting a ping request so internet started successfully now we have to check through surfing First of all, you go to wireless setting and go to SSID configuration. Here you set your SSID name, which is discovered like this right now. So we have to change it. Here I write education. So if anybody search a wireless device, so it like education. In WPA key, you can change your password, right? So we have to change username and password in SSID configuration. 
here I write password like one two three four five six two zero, right? And click on save. Right now my internet is disconnected because we have changed username and password. So now we have to change again. This is our education SSID username. Now we have to enter our new password. Internet is successfully connected. Now we have to check through surfing. This is our channel Tech IQ Education. If you still not subscribe, then subscribe it and press bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching video. Please like, share, and subscribe Tech IQ.